what you doing over there? I'm looking for an excursion. Ah, well, I'm Mark. And I'm Shirley. And it is day 27 of our 164-day around-the-world cruise. Day 27. This is the first port that we've never visited before, isn't it? It is, and we have several of those coming up, so we're quite excited. And today, where are we? Today, you tell us where we are. <laughs> <laughs> we are in Taranga, New Zealand. I have a hard time with the pronunciation of some of these words. And where will we be going today, Shirley? You tell us where we're going. <laughs> we'll be going to the Rotorua uh, Germal, <laughs> geothermal. geothermal area. And we're also going to be learning about the Morai. Uh, Morai uh, See, we have a hard time. Oh we apologize gosh. to you New Zealanders. We're going to be learning about the Morai civilization. And uh, it should be very, very interesting. The weather is supposed to clear up right in the next hour. So we are ready to go. Yay, let's go. Bye. This was my very first season. I was driving a bus. I had a gentleman sitting up front riding a shotgun and he kept crossing himself. And I thought, oh, he's a Catholic. He's giving us a safe journey. You know, I'm okay with that. But he kept doing it. And at lunchtime, I heard him say to somebody, I can't believe how easily that word rolled off that woman's tongue. She didn't <laughs> bat an eyelid. And I thought, you know, I've driven trucks and forklifts, being the only woman in a factory and I've heard it all, but I knew I hadn't used one of the words. And then it dawned on me. Every time I said a Māori word with WH, like whakarewarewa, whakapapa, whakatani, yeah, you get it. He thought I was swearing. <laughs> so I try and get that out of the way early on, just so, because there's a lot of words like that, and I don't want anybody writing in a review to my boss and say, that other Jan's got a potty mouth. So, yeah. so get that out of the way. So we're going to a village today. It's the second longest place name in New Zealand. And its full name is Te Whakarewarewa Kaua Ope Ope Kaua a Wahio. Nobody calls it that. It's, even for Kiwis, it's too long. So they call it Whakarewarewa. So, yeah, I know. It's still a bit tricky. <laughs> I know, we're going to hear all the WH words today. Now, as you can see, my friends, the full name of my home here is written on that brown sign. <coughs> now it does read, Te Whakarewarewa Tanga o Te Opetaua a Wā Hiao. We are known today, we believe you, yeah. as Waka, no translated into the Uprising War Party of our chief Wā Hiao that resided here over 300 years ago. get you to do is that I'm going to get you to bend over and feel this ground beneath you to see exactly how warm it is for yourself. Oh my goodness. Our chicken, corn suicide, pork, mutton, beef, lamb. Now anything you cook on your stove top or in your oven, we can cook in here a lot faster. Oh. So with chicken, frozen from the freezer, mm -hmm. will take our people an hour to cook. Bread stuffing, 15 to 20 minutes, steam pudding, just under an hour. Now this is a very healthy way for our people to eat because there's no added fat or butter in this food. The food does retain its own flavours. Because the temperature that's sitting on top is sitting at 95 degrees Celsius. Mm. Now the further down into our beautiful water we get, the hopper she's going to be. Now she is utilised for cooking. Corn. And the cooking of your sweet corn. So 200 frozen corn on the cob will take our people 10 minutes <coughs> to cook. To boil an egg, 1 minute. Tell me about that corn you're eating there, Shirley. Well, this is fresh out of these geothermal pots in the ground. The best thing about these pieces of corn, you don't have to do any dishes. <laughs>
Shirley. Hey, Mark. What's that behind us? That's a geyser. That's a hot geyser, isn't it? It's a geothermal geyser, and it's shooting straight out of the ground. Very cool. Very hot. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> Hi, I'm Mark. And I'm Shirley. And it is the end of day 27 of our 164 day around the world cruise. And where have we been, Shirley? Pakarewa Rewa. Yay, you got it. See, now I know how to say it, and I'm yep. not afraid. <laughs> she is now an expert Maori speaker. Yes, Maori. Maori. <laughs> <laughs> okay, guys, back to the ship. Bye.